Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this is for a true beginner. I'm getting ready for a class I'm going to teach uh, February 2022 in Las Vegas for beginners. And I thought I'd start a new series. So with nothing selected as a big thing in Corel, if you have something selected like a text, you get the text menu, your nudge distance, your duplicate distance, your, you know, a lot of things are not set up. So here you have it. So set your page size. There's a couple ways to do it, but the easiest way is just kind of in the shadow of the page, just double click. I've got mine set on eight and a half by 11 because I'm publishing a PDF for the class. You'd want to set yours for your laser size. Duplicate distance. Corel's default is 0.25 by 0.25. I've never seen the reason for that. And there's a lot of reasons in a lot of videos I say to set it for zero, zero. Nudge distance, which is right here. Set it at 0 0.001. Now that's my personal preference, but if you want to nudge something over, you can always change that number. But if you set this at default, when you want to draw something and you take your right arrow key, I mean, I'm holding down my right arrow key and see how, how many times it takes to do that. Font and top, top uh, font type and size. With nothing selected, take your text tool, click on your text, but don't click on the page, and then change it to Arial Black, and it's going to come up with this. Check an artistic text, and you could click there, click on your size. I want to I want to start typing everything at a hundred points. So then when I type something, it's going to type in Arial Black in that size. Now, units, units of measurement, well, drawing color and thickness. With nothing selected, double click on this. You can do a lot, but more, mainly it's for graphic. Set OK, it's going to come up. I draw everything in a hairline. I draw everything in red but I also draw it in inches, so I had to change that. And then hit OK. I'm not going to change too many things on my page. Now, you can do the color. You can have it fill. I don't believe in that, but right here, you could pick a color to make it fill. Ruler setup. You can see my rulers are off right now because they're used to my normal page. If you will grab this little arrow right there and bring it to your page, now I've got eight and a half by 11. Snap to, real important. Snap to guidelines, snap to objects, and snap to page I would have. If you pick that and say okay, then when you have a guideline out there and you grab a box and you start moving it, it's going to snap to that box. It's going to snap to that page. So that's a really important thing when you're drawing. Uh, Set up your color palette, just either CMYK or RGB. So go to Windows, Color, and Palette. Windows, Color Palettes, Palettes, and you can pick what color. I want RGB, but if you're a printer, you might want CMYK, and you do all that. Um, you can set your whatever you want. Like laser engravers don't use that many colors. So we don't, I don't need this too much, but if you click right here, you can set up rows, three rows of color. Now you can see all your colors that are RGB. I don't use that many colors, so I, and I don't want it in my way, so I'm going to just set the rows to one. <clears throat> After you do this, go up to Tools, no, go up to Windows, no, go up to Tools and save as default. When you do that, it'll save it as a default. Then every time you open Corel, that'll be there. Undo settings is really a little bit, I might cover it in another video. Um, well, let's go ahead and cover it. Go to uh, Tools, Options, Corel Draw, and General. And right here, I got mine set on real high right now. I probably opened somebody else's file. When you're new, have this high. When you get a little bit more 
adjusted to it, maybe set it on a 50. The, the advantage to that is that it's taking up memory on your computer. I'm not a computer geek, but it's taking up RAM is what I've been told and what I believe. So have it, you know, that's what your undo setting is right here. So we can undo everything I've done for this many times, you know, for whatever I've moved today. Disable the welcome screen. It, it's pretty neat at first when you're learning, but it's the same thing. Tools option, Corel Draw General. Tools option, Corel Draw. Right there. Have my, you could have the welcome screen. You could have it start a new document, open an existing document, and I just have it pick start a new document every time I do it. <clears throat> this is a little bit advanced, but after you've done all this, and let's say you've got some other things up in your, your menu boards and stuff, and I'm, my second video is gonna be about what these are called, the toolbox, the menu board, you know, everything. So stay tuned for further video. But if you will right click, customize and workspace and export your workspace, you can always get it back when you import it, if that makes any sense, because it'll save everything you've done. Now, when you save it up here, save as default, it's just saving which your normal stuff. But when you do some trick stuff and you put some stuff up in here, um, like a macro, which I have, I have this computer set on, I've got many versions, Kirill, and I have all my macros on 19 just because I've never taken the time. But anyway, <clears throat> I hope that made a little bit of sense and stay tuned for part two. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.